left university um, and I was looking for a way to continue playing. Uh, I had finished and percussion and singing and I suppose I was looking on the internet for different organisations and Grand Union was the one, one of the ones that I came across. So I saw that they had a workshop coming up, just kind of went and turned up for nothing. Um, and they were just very welcoming. I met Tony um, and some other people who were with the youth orchestra. Uh, and yeah, they were just really good. They had some drums already there that I could play and it was just really good. It was, and it was pretty much one of the first times that I played congas, which I'm actually playing today. It was with the Grand Union Youth Orchestra. Um, so having, you know, just different kind of instruments that you may have not come across, I'd have tablas, different kind of instruments from different parts of the world. You can play Indian music. Oh, and you get to like learn about different instruments from around the world. Oh, I enjoy like the, that they do all different types of music. Chinese music. No, I don't even know there was such a thing as a Chinese harp before I joined the orchestra. And through the orchestra I started to learn a bit of the Indian doll as well. I enjoy like playing like the soko, the scar kind of tune. Yeah, like there's an instrument from Turkey called the sa, I think it's a saz. Um, you'd no never normally even get to see it, let alone play it. I started the um, Grand Union Youth Orchestra, that was back in 2006. Since then, I've been teaching some students and I've got a few uh, of my students in today. Indian music or Indian rock, folk, jazz, African American music. And... You've got it in a nutshell there, um, because there is no other orchestra, I want to say in London, in the world that gives you this great diversity of cultures and instruments. Let's take an example, when the accordions came in. And it was just a completely different tonal centre and everybody had to change their approach. So it's, it's really it's getting kids to think on their feet from a very young age. There, there are musicians at 14, 50 that have never had the opportunity to play with accordion players, tabla players and sass players all in a unit. When kids learn, they're taught in the Western way. They come through classical, mainly it's usually classical music that they come through and improvisation is Sometimes round of one, it's not something that's usually done. So to have something where you're free to express yourself and make up things yourself, um, and maybe even have things that you make up become a piece. I mean, that could happen. And not only that, but we have the you have members of the main orchestra who come along as well. So you know, they give you help, they give you advice. They're, everyone's really you know helpful and welcoming. It's always been a hobby for me, but it is an amazing. Last time I've done a lot of opportunities both with Grand Union and with other clubs and they've brought me to all sorts of places from the O2 to festivals. I was asked to come and do some stuff with the main orchestra which was great so I started doing that. <laughs> Through Grand Union I've also done, I've gone with the, you know, the main orchestra musicians and I've, we've gone and done outreach into schools, and we've done teaching, and done workshops which has been great and um, yeah, I still continue to come along and help with the youth orchestra. Happy birthday to you. I found out today that it's the fifth anniversary of the Grand Union Youth Orchestra. Um, so in the four years that I've been here, I've seen the youth orchestra grow a lot. We now do monthly workshops. Um, we didn't have that when I had started. It was it set itself into a structure. And now we have the, the great... Um, the great space of Rich Mix, which we're in today, as a regular works, workshop space to come to. It's another thing that has helped the youth orchestra. We have, you know, we have the internet, we've got the, our Facebook page. All things like that have built over time. And it's great to see that all coming together. And it's great to see people, the same people coming back again and again, and new people coming in. And it will, it will make them overall greater musicians and people, I hope, in the end.